And, and here is that video, Jennifer. And oh my they're, they're gosh, in... the speed at which that oh gosh that truck approached. What started as a fight for justice has descended into chaos. On a Minnesota freeway, a tanker speeds directly toward a crowd of protesters, narrowly avoiding catastrophe. Protesters chase down the truck and swarm over the cabin. Eventually the driver is dragged out and beaten by the mob. Before police arrive, dispersing the crowd and taking the driver into custody. 75 cities are living through these protests. Many are in flames. More than half have imposed curfews. In Atlanta, two officers have been fired for using excessive force, arresting two young African Americans. Body cam footage shows the woman screaming for help. In Michigan, every car on this street is on fire, windows smashed, tear gas deployed. Tell your brothers and sisters, we will not win this fight with guns. It's not going to happen. we got to be peaceful. Tear gas and rubber bullets too. In the beachside community of Santa Monica, a thousand National Guard soldiers are patrolling LA streets, helping 20,000 police on the ground. With so much division, chaotic confrontations have been taking place across the country. Well, this is the center of Washington, D.C., the capital city of the world's most powerful nation. And as you can see, the people have just totally taken over. No matter what the police and other authorities do across America to try to stamp down on this protest movement, it seems that it keeps springing back up. Protesters have defied Washington's first curfew, the National Guard deployed, but hundreds demonstrated as close to the White House as they could. One thing is bringing protesters together. People all over the country have started kneeling, a symbolic protest against police brutality. Now even police are joining in. George Floyd was the match that lit this explosion of violence. It's now taken a life of its own, and even further charges against the others involved in his death may not be enough to stop it. David Lipson, ABC News, Washington.